In today's episode, you will learn how to connect an analog sensor with Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module and how to use Blink application to monitor this sensor. So, in this episode, we are going to monitor only one sensor as we have only one analog pin which is A0. In the upcoming tutorial, I will show you how to monitor multiple analog sensors using Node MCU with Arduino Omega and Blink application. So watch this tutorial from start to the very end as I will modify the same program in my upcoming tutorial. So let's get started. The components that we will need for this project are number one node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, number two 5 by 7 centimeter Vero board, number three 470 microfarad capacitors. We will need two of these. Number four female DC socket. Number 5, 7805 voltage regulator. First leg is the input, middle one is the ground, and the third one is the output. Number 6, LED. The longer leg is the inode, and the shorter one is the cathode. Number 7, 330 ohm resistor, and number 8, female headers, and number 9, variable resistor. I have already connected some jumper wires so that it can be easily connected with the node MCU. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This project is based on my previous two tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module board and how to download and use the Blink library and how to fix the USB UART driver error. While in this tutorial, you will learn how to make a power supply for Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so that it can be easily powered up using a 12 volt adopter or battery. The tutorial links are given in the description. So this is the final circuit that we will be using today. Let's have a look at the complete circuit diagram. This is the complete circuit diagram of sensor monitoring using Node MCU and Blink application. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. Let's start with the power supply. This is a DC female power jig and where we can connect a 12 volt adopter or battery. This 12 volt uh, will be used for powering up the Node MCU module. As you can see this 12 volt is connected with the input of the 7805 voltage regulator. 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with the LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output pin of the 7805 voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the node MCU while the ground is connected with the ground. Make sure you connect all the ground together. A0 pin of the node MCU will be used for monitoring the variable resistor. This variable resistor can be replaced with any analog sensor. As you can see the variable resistor middle pin is connected with a zero pin of the node MCU. While the rightmost and leftmost pins of the variable resistors are connected with 3.3 volts and ground. Now let's make an application using Blink. I will be doing the screen recording so that you can easily understand. First of all open the Blink application. Set the project name as Analog Sensor. Click on the Choose Device and select Node MCU. Make sure you set the connection type to Wi-Fi. Then click on the Create button. An authentication token will be sent on your email ID which will be then used in programming. Simply copy and paste it in programming. Click on the screen and in the display section select a value display to edit click and hold for a while to change its position and size
set the title as a variable register. Click on the pen and select virtual and then select V2. Click on push and select one second. And change the font size. Our basic application setup is completed. Now let's start Node MCU programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries and you install the Node MCU board and you also install a driver for the USB UART. I have a separate video on this. The link is given in the description. Here's define blink underscore print serial. This is used for the debugging purposes. This is the authentication number which was sent via email. I simply copied and pasted it over here. This is the name of your Wi-Fi and this is the password. Simple timer timer. Integer VR is equal to A0. Variable register connected with A0 pin of the node MCU. Integer is data is equal to 0 since the data will be stored in this variable. This function sends Arduino's uptime every second to virtual pin 1. In the app widgets, reading frequency should be set to push. This means that you define how often to send data to Blink app. Wide my timer event. You can send any value at any time. Please don't send more than 10 values per second. Blink dot virtual write v1 millis divide by 1000. When we divide the milliseconds by 1000, we get seconds. We are using 1000 because 1000 milliseconds equal to one second. Unlike Arduino, you know and Mega Node MCU has also at least two functions which are wide setup and wide loop. Wide means that this function is not returning any value and the empty parentheses means that these functions are not taking any arguments as the input. Serial.begin9600 activates the serial communication at baud rate of 9600 and this will be used for the debugging purposes. Pin mode is a function and it takes two arguments is the input, the pin number or the pin name which is VR and the status which can be input or output as we will be monitoring the sensor. So that's why we set it to input. Pin mode VR input. Blink dot begin. Authorization, SSID and password. Set up a function to be called every second. Timer dot set interval 1000 and sensor value. Sensor value is a user defined function which is called every one second. We can change this time. Then starts the while loop function which simply consists of playing dot run and timer function. Sensor value is a user defined function. Its type is wide and it doesn't take any arguments as the input. Its data is equal to analog read VR. This instruction simply reads the variable resistor which is connected with AG open of the node MCU. You can send any value at any time. Please don't send more than 10 values per second. Blink dot virtual write v2 is data. This instruction sends the sensor value to virtual pin 2. So currently we are reading only one analog sensor as we have only one analog pin which is A0. In the upcoming tutorial I will show you how to connect multiple analog sensors using Arduino Mega not MCU is VA266 handling application. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.